Amazon is making a significant change to its Alexa platform by replacing its own AI with Antrophic's AI model, Claude. The new version, known as the Remarkable Alexa, is expected to offer more advanced and natural conversations. However, this shift could be a gamble for Amazon. Amazon has been working on this upgrade, internally dubbed Remarkable Alexa or Project Banyan, for some time. Initially, they used their own AI technology, but it didn't perform well in testing. With delays of up to 6 or 7 seconds in responding to user prompts, unacceptable in today's fast-paced world where we used to instant responses like those from ChatGPT or Google Assistant. As a result, Amazon decided to switch to AI models from Anthropic, a San Francisco-based AI research company founded by former OpenAI members. Anthropic's cloud model has been praised for its ability to understand context and engage in more natural, human-like conversations. In tests, it outperformed Amazon's in-house AI. Amazon has invested $4 billion in Anthropic. Why might explain why they're now relying on Claude's technology for the new Alexa? Let's dive into what the new remarkable Alexa is actually going to offer. Amazon claims that this upgrade version will be much more advanced than the current Alexa. The goal is to enable more complex and context-aware conversations. For instance, you could ask Alexa for advice on what clothes to pack for a beach vacation in Bali or have it curate news stories based on your specific interests. It will be also capable of handling more intricate multi-step tasks from a single command like ordering a pizza, drafting an email to your boss, and setting a reminder for your dentist appointment all in one go. However, there's a catch. This upgraded Alexa will be offered as a paid subscription service. Unlike the classic Alexa, which has been free, the remarkable Alexa will cost between $5 to $10 per month and it won't be included in your Amazon Prime subscription, meaning it's an extra expense. Amazon is betting that these new AI-driven features will justify the cost, but it's a risky move. Convincing people to pay for something they've always gotten for free is challenging. Even with Amazon, there's some skepticism about whether customers will embrace this, especially since many are already paying $139 a year for Prime. So why is Amazon doing this now? It all boils down to money and competition. Despite Alexa's popularity, Amazon say they've sold over 500 million Alexa-enabled devices. The voice assistant division hasn't been as profitable as Amazon would like. The company's leadership is pushing to make Alexa a revenue generator and they see 2024 as a critical year to prove its value in the market. If even 10% of Alexa's estimated 100 million active users up for the paid version, Version that could generate at least $600 million in annual revenue assuming the lower end of the price range. This partnership with Antrophic represents a shift in Amazon's strategy. Typically, Amazon prefers to build its own technology from the ground up to maintain full control over the user experience and data collection. However, with other tech giants like Microsoft and Apple teaming up with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT into their products, Amazon likely felt the pressure to keep up. The AI race is intensifying and companies are scrambling to offer the most advanced, intuitive, and human-like AI assistance on the market. The release of ChatGPT last year changed the AI landscape, highlighting the demand for AI that can engage in more natural, conversational interactions rather than just responding to basic commands. In response, Amazon, like many others, is stepping up its game to avoid being left behind. So, what can we expect from the new Alexa? For starters, the updated Alexa is expected to integrate more smoothly with other smart home devices and better remember user preferences. Think of it as a personal butler who knows all your quirks and habits, whether it's dimming the lights to your preferred level at night or ensuring the coffee maker starts brewing at exactly 7am. 
It's also rumored that the new Alexa will offer tailored interactions for kids, engaging them in more meaningful ways such as helping with homework, playing educational games, or telling interactive bedtime stories. However, with these advancements come concerns about privacy and data collection. As Alexa becomes more sophisticated and potentially handles more sensitive information, there are valid worries about how this data will be used, stored, or shared. Amazon hasn't provided detailed answers yet, so this is something to watch closely. But Alexa isn't the only AI project Amazon has in the works. They've also developed an internal AI assistant called Amazon Q, which has been a game changer for the company. This tool has reportedly saved Amazon $260 million and 4,500 developer years by automating repetitive processes like upgrading systems to new software version. What used to take developers 50 days now takes just a few hours, allowing them to focus on more complex, creative tasks. In addition to these AI developments, Amazon is making strides in robotics. They recently hired the founders of Covariant, a startup focused on advanced robotics, including robotic arms capable of performing common warehouse tasks. Covariant is working on a large language model for robots, teaching them to understand and execute commands more intuitively. Amazon is integrating this technology into its exciting robot fleet, which should further enhance their warehouse operations. Overall, it's clear that Amazon is heavily investing in AI across the board, from improving Alexa with Anthropic's Claude AI to enhancing internal processes with Amazon Q and even advancing their robotics capabilities. The goal is to make their service smarter, faster, and more integrated. As consumers, we can expect to see AI playing a bigger role role in our everyday lives, whether through smarter voice assistants, more automated homes, or better services from companies like Amazon. It's an exciting time for technology but also a time to stay informed about how these developments might impact our privacy, jobs, and daily routines. So what do you think? Would you be willing to pay extra for a more advanced version of Alexa or should Amazon keep it free and find other ways to monetize it? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI and tech updates. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.